We've heard a lot in recent years about the problem of misclassification, that employers are classifying workers who are employees, but they're classifying them as independent contractors. And so you might be wondering why, why the misclassification? Why is that important? Well, there are numerous financial incentives that weigh in favor of the employer who uses independent contractors rather than employees, meaning hires people as independent contractors instead of employees. Things like avoiding union representation. Independent contractors don't have a right to even talk about union status. Or paying less than minimum wage. An employer who uses independent contractors is not required to pay minimum wage. It can price a thing by the job, even though it's a 30 hour job and you're only gonna make $3 an hour on it. As long as you're an independent contractor, you've got no claim for minimum wage. You may be able to avoid a host of other regulations regarding uh, unemployment insurance or workers' comp insurance or um, any of those issues. You may avoid payment of fees and expenses associated with employees, things you have to pay for employees. Cost of withholding, you know, an employer has this requirement to take money out of your paycheck and hold it for the IRS and then send in an amount to the IRS. And there's a tremendous overhead to the, to the, uh, to the, that aspect to withholding. There's a cost associated. And if I can avoid all of that, then I'm going to save a lot of money. I don't have to hire HR people or people that are focused on, on taxes. Instead, I can hire people who are there to do my job, to do the business of the company. So cost of withholding, we can avoid as well. In fact, some have estimated that employers can realize savings of up to 30% by avoiding things like payroll taxes or unemployment insurance or workers' comp or disability insurance or pensions or sick days or health insurance, vacation time. This means that if I hire a worker as an employee instead of as an independent contractor, that worker is going to cost me 30% more. That's a huge financial incentive to hire someone as an independent contractor. The fact is, however, that most workers would prefer to be classified as employees. Why? Because all those benefits now weigh in your favor if you're an employee. So most of the time, workers would prefer to be classified as employees, but not always. For instance, if you're an independent contractor, it gives you a lot of freedom. You don't have the same duty of loyalty that you owe to an employer. We're hearing a lot of discussion about independent contractors versus employees in terms of uh, ride sharing companies like Uber and Lyft. And most drivers for Uber or Lyft, they may want, wish they were employees, so they were covered by more of these regulations, but however, they appreciate the, the flexibility that they can drive for both Uber or Lyft and remain uh, untouched by the company. There's no duty of loyalty. I can work for Uber and then turn my phone off and work for Lyft for a while. So most workers would prefer to be classified as employees, but not always. And there are advantages to being an independent contractor. Now there are severe consequences to employee misclassification in the last few years, state and federal agencies have uh, asserted that employee misclassification is a significant problem. That it's a problem because why? Because those agencies are charged with finding employees. The, the IRS, for instance, you know, the idea of withholding means the IRS doesn't have to go chase down every individual tax, uh, tax uh, wor worker, taxpayer, 
Instead, they can rely on the employer to send in those taxes. And then the IRS just sends you back any excess to that. Well, if you're not an employee, that means there's no employer taking that money out of your check, meaning if I'm the IRS, I've got to go chase you down and, and try and get you to pay instead of focusing on your employer who's got a big checkbook there. So in recent years, we've seen numerous initiatives aimed at employee misclassification, both state initiatives, federal initiatives, attempting to uh, eliminate or reduce employee misclassification. Many states have passed laws aimed at this. In fact, in California, there is a law now that says if an employer intentionally misclassifies an employee, not only are there going to be fines and expenses charged, but the employer may face jail time, actual prison sentence. So many states have passed laws aimed at misclassification.